Hello everyone, welcome to Sky Car channel. So in today's video, I'm going to explain full procedure for family visa to Portugal or we can say D6 visa procedure. And today's video is going to be in English only. But if you are the one who preferred to know the procedure in Hindi language, then you can see the link in description below where I have explained the same procedure in Hindi language. Yesterday, I got a mail from my one of my subscriber and he was asking me to explain the procedure family procedure in English only because he don't know Hindi and then I decided to post video in English and from now onwards I will post videos in English as well and if I am posting any procedural video then that will be in both the languages English as well as in Hindi the procedural videos only i'm not talking about the news and updates because those videos are on a daily basis but if i'm posting any video uh, regarding uh, any procedure or any documentation then that will that will be in both the languages so, so that the people who don't know hindi will be able to know uh, the procedure they'll not suffer because of the language barrier but if you want me to post videos in English also, all the videos in English also, along with the Hindi, then you can comment down below. So if you are new to my channel, then I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, do comments below and share it if you can with your friends. Let's start today's video. So the very first document you need to have in order to have a family visa, the very first document is the family relationship proof. Like if you are inviting your wife, then the relationship proof will be your marriage certificate. But if you are inviting your parents or your children, then relationship proof will be the birth certificate. Let me tell you the difference uh, of the birth certificates you need to have uh, in case of parents and in case of your child. In case of your parents, then the birth certificate will be yours, like uh, the birth certificate which will mention uh, the name of your parents and uh, that will be the uh, relationship proof but if you are inviting your child then your child's birth certificate will be required because the birth certificate will contain the name of yours and your wife and that will be the relationship proof many people get confused in birth certificate thing that they present their spouse birth certificate as well but in real you don't need to have your spouse birth certificate you just need to have your birth certificates in case of parents and in case of your children if you are inviting your child but in case of spouse you don't need to have the birth certificate of your spouse just need to have a marriage certificate which will be the proof of your marriage and that will be the relationship proof so now the second document will be the pcc that is police clearance certificate this document will be required in all the cases whether you are you are inviting your spouse your parents or your children so you have to get a pcc of a family member whom you are inviting whose visa is going to be applied okay so you can obtain PCC via two ways. The first one is from a police station and the second one is from passport office. So let me tell you that you have to apply your PCC from passport office. The reason behind is when you submit your documents to CEF, like it's the immigration department in Portugal, you are collecting your documents to submit in CEF. But when you uh, submit your documents in CEF, then CEF have no problem th with the PCC from where you have obtained it, whether it is from a uh, police station or from um, passport office. But when you submit your document in India, in VFS, Portugal, then they accept only passport office PCC. So in order to avoid the inconvenience, I would suggest to obtain your PCC, apply your PCC from passport office only. So now you have two documents of a person 
uh, one is your marriage certificate and then his or her PCC. If you have your child as well, then the child's birth certificate and the child's PCC, right? So now you have to apostyle all the documents, both the documents. If you if you are inviting two person, then four documents. Now apostyle these documents from MEA, that is Ministry of External Affairs in India. This department is called as Patiala House. Uh, it can be called as MEA in your home country that is Ministry of External Affairs Department when you are applying for visas then all the documents are apostyled from Ministry of External Affairs so the second step is to get apostyle your documents from MEA now you are going to submit your documents in CEF which is immigration department in Portugal. You are going to submit all the documents, all the collected documents from your home country to the CEF. And to submit your documents, first of all, you have to get an appointment from CEF. Then you can visit to the CEF. Otherwise, they'll not let you enter in the department. So the first thing, uh, you, you need to get an appointment from CEF. You can get CEF appointment by sending them mail on their website or by calling on their numbers which they have given on their site. Even you can get appointment even before collecting the documents from your home country. You can get an appointment by sending them mail or by calling them and telling them that I am going to submit. I want an appointment to submit documents of my family because before applying for visa in India, you need to you need to approve your family from the country so now you are in a portugal and there are some documents more documents which you need to get before going to CEF appointment i'm going to explain some points in the document list the first one the people used to ask is iris that how much iris we need to have in order to invite our family so if you are inviting one person from a family, you are inviting only one person, then your IRS should be 9000 euros in last year. And if you are inviting more than one person, like two person, then your IRS should be in between 11,000 to 12,000 euros in last year. But in Corona, there were relaxation and the People who had IRS 6,000, 7,000, even they got approval from CEF for one person. So it was not a big deal at the time of Corona, at the time of COVID. But in normal situations, you need to have 9,000 euros for one person and 11 to 12,000 euros in two persons. The next question is about home contract or a junta. So the people used to ask that we need to have home contract for uh, to invite family or the junta will be okay to invite family. So let me tell you that if you are inviting one person or you are inviting your spouse only or any family member, there's only one person whom you are inviting, then the junta will be okay. If you are inviting more than one person, then you need to get home contract because there are a lot persons but lot more things depends on the officer who is dealing with you because the mood of the officer is also a great deal it has been seen that the person is inviting for one person and the officer has asked for home contract and many times it has happened that the person is inviting for more than one person and their junta was okay. The officer means the many things are dependent upon the person or the officer who is dealing with you. And the rest of the documents you can see on your screen. These are the documents which you need. And one more thing you need to do is translate the documents. Translate all the all the documents which are non-Portuguese, the documents which you have obtained from India, which you have taken from India, the birth certificate, the marriage certificate, the PCC, all the documents, all the non-Portuguese documents, whether these are in English or in any language, you need to translate them in Portuguese and notarize all the documents all the documents your iris your work contract your uh, your spouse pcc everything all the documents need to be notarized 
now you have your CEF appointment, your Indian documents translated and notarized. All the Portuguese documents, Indian documents are apostilled from MEA. Now you can go to your CEF appointment and submit your all the documents. While submitting your documents, CEF will give you a slip that will be the document submission slip and keep that slip with you that is the proof that you have submitted your documents within 30 days or maximum 90 days you will get approval or rejection from the CEF that is not a long process from Portugal the CEF will send you approval letter or rejection letter within 30 days or maximum maximum 90 days you'll get the approval or rejection from CEF if there is rejection, then SEF must have mentioned the rejection reason, the reason of the rejection. But don't worry, you can apply again and keep in mind that the rejection reason which SEF has mentioned before, you are not repeating that reason again. Okay. And if you got an approval letter from SEF, then you are going to send your documents to your home country before sending your documents before sending your documents many people don't know and they got excited and send the documents to home country but before sending your documents you need to write sponsorship letter copy all the pages of your passport whether your passport is blank or filled you need to get your passport pages copies and residency card or your citizenship card whatever you have whether it is a passport or a residency card you need to notarize all three documents before sending your documents to your home country i'm repeating again you need to write sponsorship letter you can see sponsorship letter on your screen i'm giving you a link down in description you can download a sponsorship letter from there as well and you need to write that you need to fill that form sponsorship letter and then copy your all passport pages and your residency card all three documents will be notarized and then along with the documents Along with the approval letter from SEF, these three documents will also be sent to your home country. Now you will submit your documents in VFS Portugal, the VFS center in your home country. And here again, you need to get an appointment, VFS appointment for submitting your family documents. For submitting your application, you need to get an appointment. You can get appointment online from VFS side you can get if you are not getting appointment then you can opt for other appointments other services like there's a doorstep service where the officers will come to your house and they will take all the documents of you once you have submitted your application in VFS VFS Portugal just you need to do is to wait for your passport in COVID, there is no time limit to get your visa, but in normal time, there is maximum time limit is one month or three months maximum. Once your family member got visa, then even the family member is in your home country, he didn't, he or she didn't arrive in Portugal, you can get his or her biometric appointment as well. You just need to mail CEF, mail to the CEF again by sending the visa number to them and ask for the biometric appointment. And you can have biometric appointment of your family member as well by giving them visa number. So that's all in today's video. I have shared some links where you can see the documents list. Please check out that links also because I might have skip or something, you know, you can just go and see the official sites and see the document list. But the main things I have told in the video, these are the main steps which you need to do, which no one is going to tell you. Um, telling you no one is going to tell you all these steps which i have told you but you should see the official links where they have given the document list which if i have skipped any then you can just be aware and updated so that's all for today's video i hope you like it i hope it was informative to you if you like this video then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching